Hey guys, so two of the most popular questions I've been getting in the stream since Valencia launched are how do I get the camel and how do I find Crescent Shrine and Crescent Mountain? I'll be answering both those questions in this video. Feel free to check the description for shortcuts if you want to skip around. Let's start off by talking about how to get the camel. Um, it's very simple. All we have to do is talk to Bochlo here, the stable keeper at Sangrain Bazaar. If you haven't discovered Sangrain Bazaar yet, you just go straight east from Altanova Gateway. Um, just kind of follow this dirt path, go through the mountains, and Sangrain Bazaar will be the first thing that you spot once you get through here. So there's the canyon. Uh, you can't miss the bazaar. It's right here, and the stable keeper is right at the entrance. So he's really easy to find. Make sure you have at least 15 energy for his quest. Basically, the quest is just going to be to go up these stairs into town and talk to NPCs and gain knowledge. Um, you spend 5 energy per NPC to get the topics, and then you come back here, turn the quest in, and the camel is yours. So that's all there is to it. Um, keep in mind, you will have to be level 55 for this quest, and once you get the camel, he eats acacia leaf. He does not eat carrots. So if you want to make sure your camel does not run out of stamina, um, go ahead and buy some acacia leaf from Bajlo before you head out. Now that we've got our camel, let's talk about Crescent Shrine and Crescent Mountain. Just as a quick note, if you plan on connecting the nodes down to Crescent Mountain and Crescent Shrine, be sure to get the first couple nodes along the way, Bazaar Farmland and Western Plateau of Valencia. Uh, Sangrain Bazaar is a proper city, so you don't need to connect the Bazaar to anything else if you don't want to, but you will need to connect these, um, these kind of mountain nodes right here on the way down to the Crescent area. So make sure you pick those up before the trip, otherwise you're going to have to backtrack later. So we're going to head east from Sangrain Bazaar, and most of the desert will probably be undiscovered to you if you haven't gotten out here yet. And even if you have discovered some of it, you can't actually see your location on the map once you get into the desert, so the map is pretty much useless. But just to give you guys an idea of where we're headed, this is Crescent Mountain, and this is Crescent Shrine. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to follow the mountains southeast until we find like a little kind of shanty thing that's going to be our first landmark that lets us know that we're on the right path. Uh, once we get to that, we're going to head south to this little pool of water right here, which is called the Oasis of Bless. And then from the Oasis, it's really easy to just kind of curve around the mountain here and find the entrance to the shrine, as well as the node manager for Crescent Mountain. So that is the plan. I'm taking about 20 purified water with me for this trip. Um, if you're wondering how much to take, in general I would say 20 water per hour um, or 20 tea for a night cycle should be more than enough. Um, you can do 30 if you really want to over prepare for it, but um, I haven't noticed that I actually need that much water when I go out into the desert. So we're going to head out here and like I said we're just going to be following this mountain ridge here. Um, I don't want to peel too far off into the desert itself. I want to pretty much hug this mountain range for most of the trip, so that's what we're going to do. Just kind of stick to the um, stick to the ground here. And uh, I am going to do a full uncut run, so if you guys want to skip ahead, if you don't want to see this whole thing, feel free to do so. Uh, I just thought some of you might appreciate an uncut run in case you've been getting lost on the way down here. So yeah, we're just going to chill for a couple minutes, enjoy the scenery, and head down towards that little that little shack. It's going to be our first landmark. It'll take um, probably another 30 seconds or so before we get there. Alright, there we go. So this little thing right here, this tells you that you're on the right track. Uh, we're about halfway to the oasis now. So we're just going to continue to hug the mountains here. And at this point we want to make sure to go more south than east. If we start going too far east, we're going to overshot it. And uh, we're going to get lost. <laughs> So, once you get past the shack, pretty much just head straight south. 
And you can actually start to see in the distance there, depending on what your settings are, you can actually see these trees back here. That's the oasis. So we're going to head straight south till we hit that. And uh, the oasis is nice. It's just kind of a, a cool little spot that you can discover. It doesn't actually count as desert. So if, uh, you know, you need to go AFK or something, you can do so at the oasis. You won't catch sunstroke or hypothermia while you're there. And um, you can also open up your map and just kind of catch your bearings. Again, if you don't have the area discovered, the map won't be much help, but... Either way, it's a nice little respite. And here we are. Oasis of Bless. From the oasis, it's pretty easy to find Crescent Shrine. We're just going to head straight east over the next hill. We're going to be looking for a ancient relic, monuments, building type thing that sticks out of the ground. And that pretty much marks the shrine entrance. So we're just going to go up over this hill right here. And you guys will see what I'm talking about in just a second. There it is. So that monument thing right there, that's kind of the, um, the entrance, I guess, to the shrine. Once you spot this thing, then uh, you just turn south and go up into the mountains. This pathway right here will take you into a tunnel, and the tunnel will lead you straight into Crescent Shrine. We're not going to go into the shrine right now. Um, we're going to come back here later in the video, and I'll show you guys where the node manager is and how to connect. Um, but for now, we're actually going to go find Crescent Mountain first, and the reason for that is because you can't connect Crescent Shrine until you've connected Crescent Mountain. So we're almost there. We have the Crescent Mountain node manager, Maya. But Maya will not let us invest in Crescent Mountain until we've actually found it. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's on purpose, but yeah, if you interact with the node manager without discovering the area, the node invest option is not there. So we're going to go back down the hill and head east. Now... When I discovered Crescent Mountain, it was something like two or three hours of running around in the area, trying to climb rocks and hit invisible walls. Uh, it basically took forever. I don't even remember where exactly I was when I discovered it. But I have explored the area quite a bit since then, and I've put together a path for you guys that should 100% uh, discover Crescent Mountain for you without any crazy climbing or geography. Um, all we're going to do is just head east along the base of the mountains. And we're going to be looking for um, just an upward slope in the desert. You can see kind of up ahead there what I'm talking about, this, this hill right here. Once we hit this upward slope, then we found the pathway. You'll know you're in the right place because your mini-map will stop saying Great Desert of Valencia. And it'll start saying Achman. Achman is the little region just north of Crescent Mountain. So you'll see the minimap change in just a second as we approach this hill. There we go. So now we're in Auckman. Now we're going uphill. Um, when we start to go uphill, we're going to turn towards the mountain. And you'll see basically two different paths from here. To the right, this is actually the eastern entrance to Crescent Shrine. So, um, on your way back, you can come this way if you want. Um, I'm going to take you guys the other way since um, it's just I just know it a little bit better. But yeah, this pathway right here will actually lead you up into Crescent Shrine. For now, we actually want to veer off to the left, and I'm going to show you guys a path up into Crescent Mountain that's uh, really easy. And so it's only going to be about a minute further here. Um... Once you get over this little rock right here, this is kind of the most treacherous part of the whole thing. As long as you can climb your camel up and over that rock, then you're good. The rest of it is just a dirt path. Um, pretty much just follow the line where it goes. Like I said, no climbing necessary. The dirt will lead you where you want to go. Um, right here, we've got this kind of narrow path that goes up. And 
I'm thinking by now you probably will actually discover it. This this should be deep enough. But just in case it's not, um, you can, you know, you can wander around a bit. You guys know how it is. Sometimes when you're discovering a node for the first time, you gotta kind of meander before it actually pops up. But yeah, this is pretty much as high on Crescent Mountain as you can get. You shouldn't need to climb all the way up to the top. I don't even know if it's possible to climb up the way all the way up to the top. But yeah, just wander around here for a bit until you discover it. And um, that should be totally fine. And then once we're done meandering, we're going to peel back down, start heading downhill towards the shrine again. And uh, when I was exploring this earlier, I had my camel fall off the cliff a couple times, so you can see his health is kind of low. So we're not going to do that again. <laughs> we're just going to sort of head back in the direction that we came. Just uh, over to the east here. And just find a way down. You know, it's not a big deal. If your camel isn't injured like mine, then you can just be a little more reckless here and just kind of fall down. Uh, the point is just to get off the mountain and back down into the dirt. And now that we're back down into the dirt, we're going to backtrack and go find the Crescent Mountain Node Manager again. We're going to invest with the Crescent Mountain Node Manager. And then I'm going to show you guys the way to the Crescent Shrine Node Manager. Um, again, that pathway right there will take you up into Crescent Shrine. So if you want to, you can park your camel right here and just run into the shrine and explore it yourself. Um, I'm going to show you guys the other way though, because like I said, I know it a little bit better. Hopefully I don't kill my camel coming down here. All right, good to go. So same thing as last time, we're going to look for that ancient relic monument thing sticking out of the ground. Um, it should show up right over here as we get closer. Pretty good ambience, actually. I normally have the music turned off for the stream, but uh, I like this. This is nice. All right, there we go. There's our landmark. So now we're just, just like last time, we're going to head up towards this tunnel. And from here, we're going to go on foot. Do not ride your camel into Crescent Shrine. Um, the thing maneuvers like a potato. It will absolutely die. There's no chance that you will run this thing to the node manager and survive. Definitely do it on foot. So we're going to park right here. Again, the node manager for Crescent Mountain is right over here. So now that you've discovered Crescent Mountain, just uh, come right over here and invest in that node don't forget that there's also two iron nodes here um, these have rough black crystal as a rare drop so if you're interested in that that's a material you need for making reform stones and grinnel armor uh, you might want to invest in those while you're down here and welcome to crescent shrine there aren't too many different pathways through here. You actually, um, you probably won't get lost, but there's a couple twists and turns, so I'll just show you where to go. Um, follow the only path you can follow going into this place. You're going to be generally heading east at first. Uh, be careful running through here with anything less than 200 DP. The Crescent Guardians, these guys right here, will chunk you pretty hard um, if you don't have at least 200. I grind this place with 240, and it's not too bad, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So we've got our first turn here. Don't don't turn. Just keep heading east. Keep heading east. And then at this 
hallway up here where we have a 90 degree turn straight to the south. This little arch, this is where we want to turn. So we're going to come down here. Um, you might actually have been able to go the other way. I don't know. I just, I know this route works for sure. So this is what I'll show you guys. We're heading towards this big building right here. And then uh, once we hit this big building, we just need to go off to the right and up the mountain. And the Crescent Shrine node manager is right on this little hill right here. You can already see, yeah, there he is, poking up. And there you go. Talk to him, invest in Crescent Shrine, start pouring all your energy here so you can get that uh, get that loot. And then, just a little bonus, there's some quest givers up here that you might, you might not notice. So yeah, come up and talk to these guys. I think the node manager might actually give you a quest to come talk to them and open up a, a couple quests. But yeah, you can get some kill quests in here. To get yourself some contribution on top of your grind but uh, other than that that's pretty much it so by now you have crescent mountain invested you've got crescent shrine invested you're all good to go i hope this video was helpful if you guys have any questions feel free as always to leave a comment or stop by the live stream thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again soon